article that stated that over 70% of Malaysians do not want to pursue a tertiary education. Instead, they want to be a full-time influencer. So Vesti, for the next few days, I'll bring you along to my biotechnology exam and also to an Apple event in Sydney that I got invited to. And I just hope that this vlog will show you that you can totally chase your dreams and pursue your education at the same time. And I hope you like this vlog. Good morning, Vesti. It's 6am and it's exam day. My exam is actually at 8.30 but I like waking up really early on exam days because I find that having a slow morning routine really helps with my exam anxiety. I just find that if I rush in the morning, I feel so anxious and flustered during the exam so I like to wake up about an hour earlier than usual. Even though I feel more awake after doing my skincare routine, I still feel quite tired honestly because I didn't really sleep last night at all. I just took a short nap because I really wanted to get some last minute revisions done last night. You know how just now we were talking about how Saki actually came up with the idea of teaching each other the concepts so that we can identify what we don't know? The template is the mRNA. There are three main ways of editing the DNA. Antisense approach, RNAi approach, the co-suppression approach. I'm like 80% prepared which I'm pretty satisfied with. But yeah, let's get dressed and head to the exam. I'll try to vlog as much as possible. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying the vlog so far, bestie. So we will be opening the doors here at 8.15, that's in around about 12 minutes. Our exam hall is huge. I think there's three to 4,000 students here all taking the exam together at the same time. It's actually so big that they have to differentiate between the east and the west wing. I was actually supposed to meet Saki before our exam, but it was just way too crowded. So I'm just doing some light revision by myself. Last time I was here, I actually had an anxiety attack, so I don't really have good memories with this place, but I'm feeling really prepared this time. How did you find the exam? It was not too bad. Not too bad? Mm. We were just stumped by this one question because it was an unimportant part in an unimportant lecture and we're kind of like, oh, we should have studied that more but I think we did pretty well for I like... I it was not too bad. I'm gonna leave Saki now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honestly so tired but I can't rest because I need to catch my flight to Sydney for the Apple event. I'm honestly so excited. Yeah, I think I'll go grab a snack and then we'll eat in the airport because there's just no time. Okay, besties, it's time to go get ready. My mom is helping me wax my armpits because I forgot since it's exam season. I hardly ever. 
never go on brand trips because I'm so busy with school. And their timing is always so odd. It's like on a Tuesday at 3 p.m. and they wonder why I can't go. But I decided to go for this Apple event because they never ever do anything PR related. I hardly hear them organizing brand events or giving people PR gifts. So I knew that this is a really cool opportunity. They also said that they'll be inviting other higher education influencers, so I'm interested to meet them as well. My mom is following because she's afraid that I'll get kidnapped. About the paper just now, I honestly don't know how I feel about it because during our mid-semester test, I thought I did extremely well because I was confident. But then I got borderline height extinction. I was expecting, like, which is 80. I was expecting at least 85. My friends were really disappointed with our results as well. And turns out he's really, really strict with Marky. Yeah, I hope I did well. So if you're having exams now, I wish you all the best and good luck. Comment down below, let me know how it's going. Is it more difficult than you expected? Easier? I really want to know and hopefully we don't feel so alone. Today's look is complete. It's only 1 p.m. and we're not supposed to leave until 2, so I'm gonna check some emails first while my mom showers and then we'll head off to the airport, which is super exciting. But yeah, I've been neglecting my emails ever since exam season started. We're very hungry, so we got some food for lunch. It's fried pork ribs, stir fry, and rice. Yummy. Are you team sparkling water or team still water? Because my mom accidentally bought sparkling water. And it feels like every time I drink it, it's like attacking me. <laughs> My mom has gone shopping and she has abandoned me quite happily. Hi! So pretty, all the things. Yeah, thank you. But I don't have that luxury because I need to finish up a script and hand it in to my sponsor before flying. I still have an hour, so hopefully I can get it done. flight got delayed but that's good because I finished my script and I submitted it already. If you're curious, a script for a 10 minute video is about 2,000 words long. Tamiana, tell them what happened. Uh, our flight has been delayed by how many hours? Three. Three hours, right? Yeah. From five to seven something, so... Yeah, we're gonna eat more, I guess. <laughs> I got pushed just o'clock and I think instead of wasting time I'm gonna study a little bit because I've been email on you this next week. Our flight's just been delayed again to 8 o'clock so I think I'm just gonna work on another script right now to submit to another sponsor. So this is about trying different TikTok study hacks. They delayed for another two hours so we're leaving at 9.30 instead. <laughs> Look how stunning Sydney is. Just kidding. It's the next day and we're still in Melbourne because our flight got cancelled and it got postponed to today at 10 a.m. They kept postponing our flight from 5 till 9.30 and then finally they sent us a message saying that it's cancelled due to bad weather. I hope everyone's okay. My event at Apple is at 1 p.m. and my flight is supposed to land at 11.25 if it doesn't get delayed again. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't get delayed again. If not, I can't go. I'm just going to quickly call the Uber and head to the airport and hopefully everything will be fine.
feel like having that? <laughs> My mom has gotten some sweet potato fries, but I want spring rolls and then we're gonna get coffee. Hi, can I get um, a latte with two sugars and one mocha please? 360 small skinny cap. And I can't believe I'm going with Apple. Oh. Yeah, yeah, one that's right. So you wanna go outside? So it go, baby, go. The time here in Sydney is uh, quarter past 11 local time. We're trying to find our driver. His name is Peter. And apparently he's at the car hire area, but <laughs> I can't find it. We're in Sydney. We still have 45 minutes until we need to meet. So we're just hanging around in this restaurant called The Ground. And it's so pretty, so I'm gonna take some Instagram pictures. We're going to the Apple event now. <laughs> Let's adjust. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> we're getting ready to go into the event. It's starting in like 15 minutes. Okay, and then it's a black because yeah, okay. ink exploded. <laughs> yeah, her pen exploded in the plane and my concealer exploded. I actually met so many study tubers and study grammars. I'll link their profiles down below and some of them are faceless online so we didn't recognize each other until we exchanged profiles. <laughs> then the team at Apple led us to this room and they gave us a goodie bag. Unfortunately, the laptop and iPad weren't included. <laughs> it was just such a positive experience overall and we actually flew home to Melbourne together. I hope you enjoyed this productive vlog and if you did, be sure to subscribe, like this video and turn on the notification bell and set to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for 1,070,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bestie!